higher arm move so the cell wall so actually the cell wall that present in the only plant cell so animal cell locked with the cell wall so it is only present with the cell membrane so actually the cell wall is an outermost layer of the cell so here the cell wall main functions are different into the different types the first one is in a shape so it given a particular rigid shape to the cell wall due to the presence of the cell wall only the plant cells have in a different shape like some of the cells that are have round shape some are having square shape some are having rectangular shape some are having barrel shape and etc etc and second one so it protect from the mechanical damages so an external pressure created on the cell wall automatically it protect the internal tissues that nothing but it is in a cytoplasm so the cytoplasm is protected with the presence of cell wall and also the infection okay any microorganism wanted to enter into the cell automatically the cell wall that uh, protect the infection of the microorganisms and next one is a name cell to cell interaction so actually any tissue that are mainly made up with the different type of or many number of the cells okay if, if any cell is affected with any external factor automatically it can pass the information to the another cell so that's why the cell protect from that uh, various external factors so examples microorganisms or temperature or light and etc etc and also the cell wall is act as in a barrier so the transport of something material from one cell to another cell that is allowed by the allowed through the cell wall only okay so that's why the cell wall is act as in a barrier that nothing but it is unable to pass the material from one cell to the another cells due to the action of barrier so these are the different functions of the cell wall so now coming to the different algas algal members that are having mainly cellulose galactons manons and calcium carbonate already we studied the different type of uh, uh, <laughs> protists like chrysophytes golden desmid the silica is present and uh, chlorophyce members like chlorella the cellulose is present and pheophyce the manins are present and galactons are present in their cell walls so coming to the plants so the plant main cell wall material is in a cellulose along with the cellulose the hemicellulose pectins and proteins are also present in the plant cell wall okay so now coming to that uh, the cell wall formation so actually during the cell division the primary wall is uh, that is separated the two cells it is in a first cell and second cell that cell mainly separated with the uh, septum that nothing but it is called as in a primary wall okay this primary wall when it is matures automatically it produces some more layers on the surfaces of the both sides of the cell but nothing but it is called as in a secondary wall so secondary wall especially made up with that lignin suberin pectin and cutin substances so during the cell division so by the help of golgi complexes so for example one cell that divided to form the two cells so the two nucleus are formed after the formation of the two nucleus so here the first middle lamella is formed okay this middle lamella what it is called middle lamella this middle lamella especially made up with that calcium pegnate and magnesium magnesium pectate substances so after that this middle lamella so produces to growth both sides and the cells are separate so after the separation of the cell cytoplasm into the two cytoplasm the one cell is divided into the two cells and first form the layer which is called as middle lamella so this middle lamella that produces the layers on its surfaces that is called as primary cell wall so this primary cell wall can produce as the especially the primary cell wall mainly made up of that cellulose and hemicellulose substances and second one the primary cell wall that produces the 